Zany friends, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we are going to talk about something that uh, is has been a video I've wanted to do for a while, which is hair maher. We're actually going to talk about this twice. So this first video is going to be my COVID hair routine. Uh, that is totally different now though, um, because a few days ago I did start the curly girl method and I will be doing a video on my experiences with that later. But I did want to tell you what I had been doing during COVID as someone who can't go out of the house, can't get a haircut, uh, and it has very dry, sometimes almost straw-like hair. Uh, how did I get through COVID to give my hair a little bit of an oomph, you know? that kind of a thing. So I will go through all the products I used and uh, if I recommend or don't recommend them for certain things as we go along. And I should say that like all of the links for stuff will be down below. Some of them are affiliate links um, and some of them will save you money. So just depending on which ones they are, you know, you click. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the first thing we have is the uh, shampoo. That's the first thing in my routine. Uh, the one I use is Function of Beauty. It is a customized shampoo formula. Now what's cool about this is it is sulfate free, it's paraben free, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. It does have silicone in it so if you are doing the curly girl method don't use this because it does have silicone but if you ask them like they can customize it they can make it so it's silicone free, it's dye free, and it's fragrance free. But the biggest thing about this shampoo is that you can make it different colors, you can make it smell different ways. I think that's peach. Peach? That's yep. peach. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really fun to get it customized like that. Um, and now that I know that I can get it without silicone in it and that it could be Curly Girl approved, I might actually continue to subscribe. But until then, I'm just going to use what I have and uh, go on with life. So um, one of the things I've been seeing over here is like I'm seeing all this almost mathematic functions all over. I'm like, what the? What, how am I supposed to read that? Function of zany. It's yes, you get it that's personalized. So that's, that's the next thing I use after I shampoo is this L'Oreal El Vive Wonder Water. And the thing about this product is you will put it in your hair and on the back of it there's like these hash marks that tell you how much to use. So you basically squirt it on there and then you can be like, okay, I know how much I've used for each dose. And when I use this, it makes my hair really nice and like it has some conditioning and some volume in it. You leave it on for eight seconds and then there's like this burning like kind of sensation on your scalp and then you rinse it off. The Wonder Water does have silicone and paraben free. However, there is tons of alcohol in this. So it's going to make your hair dry and strip it, which is so weird because it really does make my hair softer, but apparently it's bad in the long run. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to be using this anymore really, but if you don't care about that kind of thing, definitely check this out. It's kind of a, an interesting product and really prolonged my need to have haircuts as I was going. Oh, good. So then I will condition my hair and I will use that this conditioner, which is Function of Beauty. Same thing um, as the shampoo, same uh, paraben, silicone free, all that stuff. Same thing. Okay. So next I will use some kind of leave-in conditioner or hair protectant. Uh, this is the Shea Moisture Purple Rice Water Primer and uh, Color Care. <laughs> so I will just spray that on and put it up in a micro microfiber turban thing and let it soak up for a little bit and presto changeo my hair is now oh, conditioned and whatnot. Uh, I really do like the Shea Moisture line and when you watch my Curly Girl video, you're gonna see that most of my products are Shea Moisture because they are uh, free of the parabens and the sulfates and all that stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, so let me do that. And then we go on to a serum. Now I have two that I use. The first one is a uh, Gliss Hair Serum. It's by Schwarzkopf. Now the thing about this is that it has parabens, silicone, and it probably has sulfates too. I couldn't really tell, but what this will do is it, it locks in your split ends and makes it so that your hair isn't as dry on the end. So yes, it really does work, 
But quite honestly, there's a lot of crap in there, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing that anymore. So my other solution is this Verb Ghost Oil. It has silicone in it, but there are no parabens, gluten, or sulfates in it. So it actually does a, a really nice job of helping to lock in uh, the moisture on the ends and really uh, keep the dryness out. However, for me, sometimes it's bad because I have fine hair and it will weigh down, weigh down my hair. So it's not as great as other products that I could be using. So uh, for this, I only use it like every once in a while and I don't use it a lot. And that is the end of my hair care routine that I do daily. But now let's talk about, you know, some maintenance things. Like what, what are some things that I use? So the first thing I want to tell you is my brush. So um, I think my husband was watching Alyssa Milano's like Instagram stories and he saw this brush and he was like, you need to see if you can get this brush somewhere. And I was like, sure. And Amazon of course had it. So it looks like this, but the really cool thing about it is that each set of bristles is separate. So when you're detangling your hair, it doesn't like rip out. It actually is very, a lot more gentle. But if you don't want to use it like that, it also comes with this little piece right here that you oh. just stick on the back. And I'm only going to do a couple of these, but it basically just locks the bristles in place like that so that you can have just a regular hairbrush so it does, it's not as detangly. I don't use it like that really, but you could. And I just use it like this, and I love this brush. I think this is like one of the best brushes I've ever owned. For some reason, this brush makes my hair so much softer than any other brush I have ever used. It makes it feel so nice. So this is a definite buy, whether you're doing Curly Girl or not, get yourself one of these brushes, you will not regret it. You know, we can't go out to get our hair cut all the time especially right now so I had to find another way to get rid of the split ends and as you can tell my hair has actually dr grown a lot uh, since the uh, my start of all of this so I got this thing what this is is like a razor comb um, on this side it has a lot more wider bristles and this one has shorter bristles so if you don't want to take a lot off your hair you use this side but if you want to take more off you use this bottom side right here and I'm going to do it really quick because I do have a couple of split ends on here so you basically just take the end of your hair like this and you just kind of run it a little bit in the side and it will take off their split ends as they get caught on the razor just like that. And I'm telling you, this little thing alone has made it so I haven't had to have my hair cut since January. And my ends are really nice. They're not like dry and brittle and it's really prolonged the look of my haircut. There's also a little comb on the end here if you need it, which is great as well. I will leave the link for this down below. I got it off Amazon. It was like six bucks. It was very, very uh, inexpensive. I also do a once a week deep conditioning mask and for that I use Verb. That is the Manage and Restore Hydrating Mask. As you can tell I've used a lot of it and I am almost done. This has no parabens and no sulfates but it does have silicone and it does have alcohol in it. So again I probably will not be using this one anymore uh, once I'm done with Curvy Girl but I did want to bring this up because this does make your hair very hydrated and very soft. So if you don't care about the silicones Go ahead and check out Verb. They're a great company also, so this is a good product as well. So let's say you want to get your hair dyed. Again, we're talking about the fact that you can't go to the salon. So I have tried many at-home dye systems, um, and I tried this one very early on, and then I stopped using it, and then I circled back around to it, and now I'm really glad I did. And it is eSalon. eSalon is one of those customized hair care kits that you uh, can pay and have sent to your house, which is super great um so in this kit they will give you different things so they will work with you this is actually a bigger kit than the one i first got but because my hair was like darker up here than down here the hairstylist at Isalon was like okay well i'm gonna give you two things so they gave me first the root color which is this one and then they gave me also a color for the ends as well and so they have two developers so that you can do it in both both the top and the bottom also two pairs of gloves are in here and then everything else you need is in here there's like a little shampoo a little conditioner the stain guard and the stain remover marshall and i have actually used a different brand before this he has not used this brand but you uh do like the 
overall uh, thought of having your yeah. own hair care color, right? Yeah. Right. And then the person from, from eSalon will look at your progress. You can continue to send them pictures and they will tweak your color depending on what you want after you're done. So that's a really great thing. And it, I think it costs like $25. It's definitely cheaper than going to the salon to get your stuff done. Um, and I do have a, uh, a code down below to save a little bit of money on this if you are interested in doing eSalon. And the last thing let's talk about is like hair ties for your pony because uh, I use these. Okay, so these are, I, I know they're like, they call them different names, but they're basically those plastic coils that you used to put your keys on, you know, on your wrist. Um, but there are these and I swear by them. They don't pull my hair out. There's no like ridges in my hair when I use these. My cats love to play with them. So that's an added plus. And I feel like these are just the best ones that I've ever had. Um, I'll put the link below to some that I found just on Amazon or whatever. But basically I can find these at any drugstore, Ulta, anywhere. And, and then I get like some and I put them in different people's stockings if I know they have like long hair and stuff. They get them for Christmas gifts. It's They're just the best. So awesome if you uh, have long hair like me and want to put it back. I definitely recommend these kind of coil hair ties as well. So thank you so much for watching my uh, COVID hair routine. And do stay tuned because I will be showing you uh, this. This is transition hair. Curly girl, do not judge my curly girl method by this. It's transition, okay? <laughs> we'll get there once I get a little more into doing this method too. So yeah. M poor Marshall, he's like... Ugh. What I do is I shampoo my hair. Uh, it's using not your mother's shampoo. And then I have a conditioner that we, we got with the dye kit because even though it's faded a lot since then, I, 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 dye, I dye my hair. And then I, I just use, I use a brush. Not, not like her brush, just like a garbage dollar store brush. That is done. Guys, All right. guys hair, what do you say? But thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.